Uh, well, it's a wonderful June morning. Have some uh, end of my uh, organic prune juice. Ooh, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Oh. Let me pour this here. We're gonna make a toast. Get your prune juice out. Everybody get your prune juice out. We're gonna make a toast. Yes, end of it. It's gonna be a toast to my main man down there in Hot Lantern. He be cracking. So we're gonna make a toast to him. A prune juice toast. A prune juice is good for you. Okay, it's gentle for you. Not like, you have those harsh things, the harsh like the, like the smooth blue teas and the harsh. Yeah, that goes. It's not good. But but prune juice. Hmm. Just like a, a oatmeal. You know, it's good to. You know what it does, right? So. Hey, Nelly Nell. <laughs> this is for you. Hmm. You need it. Because you're full of it. No, no, no. Let me not go up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a brother. Come on now. You know how we do with each other. Anyway, that's what I want to talk about. Look. Mm. 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 I'm chugging it. Okay. Let me stop that. Look, there's a bunch of stuff happening. The funniest thing I find, I guess it's not funny to some people, is this whole thing with NASCAR. Right. Let me tell you what's really going on. Um, let's start with baseball. Hey. Uh, as you may or may not know, I grew up in the South Bronx. In fact, my first job, my first real job, uh, with, you know, at, well, when I say real job, I mean that at, at 16 you could get work, working papers. So my first job was actually in the wintertime. As for it was for um, uh, I did I, I did like saw hot chocolate. You know what I mean? You know, in the stands um, uh, for. Um, uh, for the Giants, well, the Giants was I say for the Giants for um, Yankee Stadium, right? The Giants were playing at Yankee Stadium because whatever, you know, it was out. They was transitioning before they went over to the, to, to Jersey. They wouldn't say they kept on being the New York team, but they were actually were the Jersey Giants. They weren't like the New York Giants anymore. But we won't get into that. So I went. Uh, so, so that was my first job. So I have to think for it. Well, you know, I, I, I was at a time where I knew Yankee Stadium. In fact, they used to have, the Polo Grounds was over. They used to have a train spur that went from the Basically, 161st Street and, and Woodlawn Avenue, whatever, over to where the, the uh, polo grounds were, because they had the two teams there. That's where they had the really terrible. I know, let's figure, figure out that part. And it was one of the last times I've been at the, at the real like, Yankee Stadium. I'm talking about, you know, the house that Ruth built. Ruth being Babe Ruth, remember? Okay. The house that he built, right? Uh, I went to a baseball game. And if you know anything about Yankee Stadium back in the wet day, you sat in the bleachers. I mean, real people sat in the bleachers. So it wasn't about a money thing. It's just, it was a whole bleacher culture, right? So I was there. And about that time, I guess, too many white boys came. I, I don't know. It was like a bunch of white boys. Now, if you know anything about white boys, when you get them together and you get beer and them together, they really get that whole mob, you know, uh, I guess, that mob mentality. You know what I mean? Because, you know, white boys can't do that nothing individually. You know, they got to have, they got to be hooked up, you know. Now, you get a brother and a white boy, no matter how big or where the white boy is, the brother going to take him out. You might be a big tree, but I'm a small axe, and I will chop you down, chop you down. Oh, forget that one. Okay. So I was, so we was there in the bleachers, and it was so, it was like, like a, like a, a woman would walk by, a white woman would walk by, you know, she had what they call big rack, which is normal, and they would be catcalling, but it would be like this rude kind of catcalling. It's not like brothers do it. Like brothers do it, so you, you'd be like, okay, brothers noticing me, yeah, that's good, that's good. It's a different kind of vibe, right? Okay, I bring all that up to bring up this. They have this thing with the NASCAR guy, right? Uh, uh, whoever he is, like he's got a he's got a black mama and a I guess something else father, right? So he looked, you know, he did, whatever. Okay. So what people don't understand is this: NASCAR associated with white people. Now they get drunk, whatever have you. But just and there's a lot of women around. All of that's the whole thing about being a driver, right? That's why that's why in their ring, you know, what I mean, they, well, you get you get a, some. Well, so flowers and, and the girls be kissing on you, but that's their thing. So in their culture, you know, at this particular point, their, their women, I'm going to say their women, you know, women have, they show up in all kinds of dress and undress. Now, if you're, oh, if you're a white boy of a particular, you know, let's say, whatever, you know, then you will, you don't want, you, man, how do you say this? You know how well, uh, you know how when, when a brother really do well, and then a black, then a, then a, then a white man got say, oh man, right? Well, think about this. 
the, the, you have you have uh, we don't have words for that. The, the, we don't have words. I mean, you have you have women, right, that really look whatever, 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 and they all sorts of dress and undress, no cheek hanging out, whatever have you. Oh, Daisy Duke, the Daisy Duke kind of woman. Okay, you have that one, right? So, the, so you have these white white men. That, that's our women, right? Now, if you have one brother come in, that's all right. You have a, then say some brothers come in, or you know, some stuff start, start a, little, a little flavor, a little color in your scheme, right? Then, then of course the brothers are more powerful. You're gonna come to a, you know, you're gonna come to a, a NASCAR event. You're gonna come to a racing kind of event. Then you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta be a, you know, sort of kind of brother. You know, you can't be no, you no. Know, what do y'all say? What do y'all say? A, a, a softy, a marshmallow, or whatever they, you know, moist, whatever it is, right? So now if you start showing, then some sisters are going to start showing up, right? And you know, the sisters start showing up. They're going to be dressing. If they if they dress down, they got more style. They ain't going to be no daisy. If their daisy dudes come out, it's going to look good. It's not, that's not, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so what is, what's going to happen? What they're, what they're most afraid of is first of all, some brothers start showing up. Then some sisters start showing up. Then the white boys be looking at the sisters. It will be a mess. They can't come, you know what I'm saying? So please, have sympathy on these people. You know what I mean? I can, you know, first of all, they, they, you know, they'll be, you know, they, they, they're afraid of losing their whatever, losing, losing their, I don't know what they trying. Yeah, they're losing their grip. <laughs> Let's put it that way. What that one more thing to say. Uh, but here's the, here, let me let me be serious for a second. Here's the thing. I think the world is intended. I'm talking to, 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 to white boys as well as you know our, our our brothers. You know, if you look at the world, you know, the, it's the evolution of the species or evolution of the um, human humans, right? What you're supposed to do is you actually are supposed to it's called miscegenation, whatever. You are supposed to be, I would say, crossbreeding. You know, the world. Act, you know, in other words, some 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 um, some uh, some Indonesian guy is supposed to be hooking up with some you know some uh, Mexican woman. You know what I mean? Some some Alaskan uh, woman. You know, is supposed to be hooking up with some you know some West African dude. You know what I mean? Some Irish you know dude is supposed to be hooking up. With some, you know, uh, Chilean dude. You know, the world is supposed to keep on messing. So the world, that's that's what's supposed to happen. Because you're not only sharing a DNA or making sure your DNA is not getting polluted by having the same tribe, you know, you're in inbreeding, whatever have you. What you're actually supposed to do is sharing culture, sharing information. Because if you grew up in this area that has, say, for instance, my favorite, say a moringa tree. If you have a moringa tree here, that has certain properties. And over here, in some other place, you know, you have, you know, I don't know, say pineapples. You know what I mean? You. These cats are supposed to get together. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the, the stuff that you learn from the pineapple, you know, and the stuff you learn from Baringa because you've been traveling around, da 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 da. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Me being T from the Patterson taking a train to the bed. Let you know what I only suspect. Mm. As I make a toast with prune juice.